Before we actually upload the data, let's go back to sandbox item three and just notice what's in there. We can see that there's not really very much in there. After we do the upload, we'll check it again to see what happened. So I will go back to my terminal window. Right now, I'm still in the Wikidata test folder. In order to run the script, I have to go down into the data folder. So I will say CD data. And now I can see here's the Vanderbot script as well as the data that I'm going to use. So in order to write these data to Wikidata, I'm going to use Python as I did before. I will just say Python three, start typing Vanderbot and hit enter. And now I'm ready to do the upload. So I'll hit return and let's see what happens. So it's reading the table. Uh, unfortunately, the server's busy. So it's having to wait. So we'll just wait and see when it gets less busy and it'll actually do the writing. Well, in this case, the server is lagged, which means it's really busy because a lot of other people are using it. And in order to be a good user, you respect the fact that the server is busy and you try again later. So um, in this case, I just killed the script by hitting control C. And if I want to try running it again, I can just do the up arrow. So let's, I've waited a few minutes, let's try it again. All right, this time there was no lag at all. And I can see from the results here that it processed the wiki data sandbox item three. So let's go back to sandbox item three and hit refresh. Here is adding instance of painting, inception 2019, title, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and here is my collection number and the qualifier that it's in this collection and also the reference that I put in here as well. So all of the changes that we made are now here. Let's go back to the CSV file. Now, the, one of the reasons for using LibreOffice is that I sh in, in some cases, if you leave the CSV file open when you run the script, it will crash the script, but since LibreOffice does not put a lock on the file, I actually can get away with having this file open, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it because it's cha been changed by the script since the last time I looked at it. So I'm going to reopen it again. And I can see that some of the columns that I left blank before now have information in them. For example, the instance of now has an identifier assigned to that. And the reference that I put in here has a hash number assigned. And there are other UUIDs and hash numbers here. So Vanderbot knows that it should not write these data. If the identifier columns has a value, it means that they've already been written.